So next up on my engine build, I'm going to have to check my piston and valve clearance. I should be good, I got a dish piston, but I don't want to be running into any troubles. So we're going to set up for that and I'm going to walk you guys through the process. Put our air on there. I'm going to use my little valve compressor that I got off Summit. And again, I got the compressed air, keeping the valves pushed up. This tool is actually pretty nice. I will point out that I did take out push rods. I'm going to use a magnet here. Get my locks out. Place it with the checking springs. Get my locks back in place. I'm gonna put my push rods back down in the hole. To give them regular preload which is going to be one half turn because I got these checking springs on and do it hand by hand no problem um, the aluminum heads are awesome obviously everybody wants aluminum heads but dial indicators with a magnetic base and I'll stick to them so I'm going to make a little bracket right here using the exhaust bolt. So I'm going to take a piece of paper here, kind of push my finger into the holes so I get a print of where my hole location is. And I got a basic piece of angle iron here, I'm going to clamp it down. my transfer punch to mark out my holes. All right, let's see if our bracket here fits. So my header bolts were a little long. I just put some larger nuts behind just to act as washers. Now, as you can see, I have a really nice solid foundation to do my measurements from with my dial indicator. So I wanna point out the first time I recorded myself doing this, I was not set up using the degree wheel or my mount and I went back through and did it all the correct way. However, apparently my camera died and I missed all that. So this is the way your setup needs to look. You need to have the degree wheel installed. You need to have your dial indicator set up on a solid mount. And I'm gonna go ahead and post a link in the description on how to set up the degree wheel. So this was simple to build, really helped out, and I'm going to throw it in my toolbox in case I need it again one day. I'm going to pull off my dial indicator, my little mount that I made, and show you guys how to swap the springs back out to the original springs.
push rods. 